Orchid family is shaken after waking to a man in their home stealing their belongings yesterday morning. The family fought back. KSBY News reporter Megan Abundas is live with details for us this evening. Megan. The sheriff's office says a man spotted a small opening in the kitchen window, popped off the screen, climbed inside, landed on the kitchen counter. Now this story does end in an arrest and the family is safe, but they're still on edge knowing not only was someone inside their house, but in their bedroom too. I mean, it, it was obvious that we were home because we have three cars and they were all in the driveway. The Jepson family has been living on Ken Avenue in Orchid for years, but now they say their safety was threatened. He entered through the kitchen window. He knocked down this whole shelf and some stuff right here. He broke some dishes, walked around the house. He picked up wallets, keys, our Xbox. He put it all in a bag and then he went into my bedroom, got a ring and my grandson's cell phone. That cell phone would be the key to finding the robber. Yeah, I caught him at the door. He didn't get the door open yet. And I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you in my house? As the man was trying to break free, he broke the screen door. He was like hitting me in the chest. Let me go, let me go. Jepson says he broke free of her grip, dropped the stolen items, but still had the cell phone. The family called sheriff's deputies and tracked down his hiding spot right across the street. One driveway over from us. He was right there in the driveway. 18 year old Gerardo Garcia was arrested on suspicion of robbery and burglary and booked into jail. The family feeling violated. He could have he could have harmed all of us. God was watching over us. Sheriff's deputies say more items were found in Garcia's pockets. They don't know who they belong to. The Sheriff's Department also saying this type of incident is happening more in Santa Barbara County. They say only fight back if it's your last resort. Live and local in Santa Maria, I'm Megan Abundas, KSBY News. All right, Megan, thank you.